What's up, you guys? It's Tay Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Okay, so I'm on my way to uh, get me and my granny something to eat, and I'm gonna go up here to eat lunch with her. Hopefully, she ain't ate yet. I ate already, y'all, because I don't want to waste my motherfucking money. <laughs> but anyway, look, so let me just say this right. I saw that Peach McIntyre had her baby via C section, and let me tell you something. Um, Peach is saying a lot about how um, C-section, you know, how she's in a lot of pain. Girl, let me tell you something. As a woman who's been through two C-sections, I had my first daughter via um, C-section because of a failed induction. So the induction did not go well, and um, I just had an emergency, uh, not emergency, I, I don't know if it was an emergency C-section, but... Yeah, I had a C-section and she came on out, okay? My second child, I opted to have a C-section because I ain't, I'm not finna go through the failed induction shit again. Like, that's just too much. Being in labor, like, I'm not that... I don't want to be in labor. I don't like being bothered. Like, the first... When I had the first induction, they they were so unorganized. And it, it, it just... It, to me, it could have went left any other... It could have went... It could have went bad. So, I just decided to do a c-section again so um let me tell you something uh, the c-section the second time wasn't that bad around i did have um some slight pain because i had a cyst on my ovaries that while she was while she was stitching me back up she saw it and she was all like i'm just gonna go ahead and take that out um that that incision right there on the inside i guess right there that was bothering me the most as far as um my c-section i stopped taking my meds like a week after the c-section and i was up and walking and driving and everything and i'm not saying that's that's the case for everybody but um c-sections are not hard um it's been a, a whole lot of the debacle that goes on with women saying you know hey i gave birth to my kids vaginally and blah 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 let me tell you something i'm gonna we're gonna shout out to all the c-section mamas out there shout out to now peach you are now a part of the c-section mamas shout out to all the c-section mamas out there c-section recovery is not fucking easy by far okay it is not easy by far it is not easy i'm gonna say that shit again it is not easy to be a c-section first of all you need to call yourself a c-section survivor because a lot of women get on that table and don't make it off okay a lot so you are blessed and highly favored that you will anybody are blessed and highly favored that you get off that you get on that table and you make it off because anything can go wrong as far as your spinal your spinal tap and things like that you are blessed and highly favored if you make it out that c-section okay and um c-section re recovery is different for everybody um you know the, the thing that helped me i wrote that on her short the thing that helped me was compression socks um walking a lot she's doing a lot of walking you need to walk all the time don't sit down if it hurts go back to the doctor if it hurts call the doctor whatever is going on if you feel sick or uh, anything do not hesitate to call the doctor or go to the emergency room post-op okay take it easy when you cough sneeze or shit put a pillow over your stomach area put a pillow right here and hold it down when you um the thing that helped me the most was my peri peri bottle or um the clean my incision you must you must listen to me you must keep that incision clean you gotta rub it gently do not wrap it, wipe it with no damn towel because that will be <laughs> that ain't gonna feel well okay you don't want to rub off the scabs there um a lot of women have their own way of um, of keeping their incision dry. Mine was I took a maternity pad and um, not the diaper thing they give you, but a long ass maternity pad. And what I did was I, because I have a stomach that overhangs, I took it, I folded it in half the long way, and I um, I put it up under there. I made sure I patted the area dry first. I put it up under there because you know we big big girlies, we sweat. So all day, all day, every day, all day, every day, make sure you change it every couple hours. Don't let it get wet. Don't let it get moist. 
because it's going to prolong the healing process, okay? It's going to prolong the healing process. But anyway, congratulations on your baby, Peach McIntyre. Please take care of yourself during this process. And tell Wood to shut the fuck up about how he don't know how you feel. A C-section is very painful. It's very painful. It's not easy. So like I said, shout out to all my C-section mommies out there. Because baby, we gang gang. We did that shit. We laid on the table. And then you have to still take care of your baby. You have to still see about your damn baby. You don't get a damn break. You go home in a couple days, you got to still see about your other kids. You is a motherfucking warrior. You are a motherfucking boss, okay? Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. You done survived a C-section, baby. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. I was scared my first one. My second one, I was like, let's get this motherfucker done. Get this motherfucker out of here. I was fucking tired. I was fucking tired. Ankle swelling the fuck up. I still do deal with swelling every now and then um, because I'm so active. I always had swelling in my right ankle. Um, that was mainly where my, my swelling came from because I worked all the way up until two weeks before I uh, had my C-section. And so, yeah, I had a lot of fluid build up. Drink a lot of water. Take your postnatal vitamins. Do what you got to do to make, sure heal make your healing process as easy as possible. And like I said, congratulations. Welcome to the C-section mama gang gang. Um, no disrespect to any other women who um, had their baby vaginally. Because you part of the gang too. Because women lose their life having vaginal, uh, vaginal deliveries as well. So, yeah. Welcome to the gang. You ain't new to this. You true to this. Okay, you're gonna get over the C section. The second um child, I had two kids, I ain't have no fucking mo. I'm not having no fucking mo. But if I were to get pregnant with a child again, it's C section gang gang. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna go into this new Publix here. We got a new Publix here. I was ranting about this new Publix the other day because it was it was it was given it was given basic basic. And I know the ones down there in Florida be uh, are lit litty litty, but. We gonna give it a try out. We finna give me and my grandma something to eat. We finna go out here and sit down and eat with her. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, you hear me saying it? Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Give your girl some goddamn, give, show your girl some goddamn love around here. We trying to grow this damn channel. Whatever, okay? I got two kids to feed too. Let's get it.